We're gonna go ahead and try some of the new makeup that I've received. Today, I'm going to use the Yves Saint Laurent Blur Primer. And it goes with a little spatula thing. There's cute little gold flexes in there. I wonder what that's supposed to do. This smells really funny. It kind of smells like one of those little vitamin oil things that you get in the little capsule. Vitamin E oils? Is it vitamin E? It's not. <laughs> Pleasant. <laughs> it is not a pleasant smell. It almost feels like vitamin E oil as well. I wouldn't be surprised if that's like a main ingredient. Now, does my face look blurry? My skin feels great though, I'm not gonna lie. We are gonna try the Yensa Super Serum Silk Foundation with vitamin C and E hyaluronic. No, that doesn't even say anything close to hyaluronic. For Ferulic, fer, ferulic, ferulic, and then book, book call, book call of something like that. This is what it looks like. I'm gonna just put a little bit on the back of my hand like such. Should be enough. Oh, that might be too much. So I'm just gonna like dab it on different areas. Yeah, I definitely put way too much. I don't currently have any like skin issues. I don't need this much foundation, but we're already here. So we're just gonna commit, okay? We're just gonna commit and hope the process, it, process. hope the process is worth trusting. Mm, that's a little light. Usually I'm able to make it work by using like a good bronzer and contour. Kind of give my face some warmth. I'm very pale. I look very Halloween right now. Go scare some kids. <laughs> it actually looks okay. Maybe I just think I'm not as pale as I actually am. This looks like it's too off from my chest. I mean a little bit, but not like a lot. I mean, it looks fine. It looks fine. My skin doesn't feel like heavy or gross or anything like that, which is a good sign. I hate how makeup feels on the skin. Like when I have a full face of makeup. I just, I hate how it feels. Next, we're gonna go back to a, a goodie and an oldie, the Pink Lips Contour Stick, and this is in Cappuccino. Okay, this is my jam. I love this stuff. When I run out, hopefully it'll still be on Ipsy so that I can replenish. It is a black owned business, which, you know, I love to support my peoples. We're gonna try another product. I've used it before. I chose not to use it um, again after that because I got the wrong shade, which is my bad. Not on Milk Makeup, it's on Sandra Fay. And this is the Milk Makeup Concealer. I just wanna give it another try. I think I used it to like color correct last time. I don't know if I used it in my normal spots. So let's see, this is definitely uh, way too yellow. But like I said, that was a me problem. I didn't choose the right color. But sometimes it's difficult when you're looking on these websites and like the pictures don't really tell you everything. You know what I mean? Like they look like they would look right, but then you get them in the mail and they don't look nothing, nothing like what you wanted. That's the reason why, okay? That is why I'm struggling, okay? Struggling real, real hard when it comes to getting like concealers and then also foundation, very difficult. So once I find a foundation I like, I log it so that I can always get that color again. But maybe this will help the foundation because it's a little too light, but then I'm putting it in the spots where I want it to be lighter, so. I don't know. We're, we're, we're gonna trust a process. And I don't know if this is the process we should trust, but we're gonna try. We're gonna show a little face. Um, it's just kind of disappearing, which could just be because of the shade, right? It could just be because the shade is not the shade for me. It did work really good as a color corrector. So if I do end up with some dark spots, uh, in the future, I can definitely use that milk makeup concealer to conceal those dark spots. I think that's as good as that's gonna get. I think that's as good as that's gonna get. Y'all know I'm blind as a bat without my glasses, so I can't really see that well. I don't know when I put my glasses on and I'm editing the video if I blended this out like trash. We'll, we'll see then. So far, these products aren't really doing it for me, but that could just be the wrong shade match. We're going to try another new new, and this is the Palladio Blush in color sunny coral and this is what it looks like i did get this off of flip and we're just gonna i'm just gonna tap that on i'm gonna put a decent amount because what i find is that when i do liquid ooh, chunky when i do like liquid blushes they always disappear right like they always disappear as soon as i put my powder on put a little bit little dot dot right there and i don't like when they disappear like i put you on for a reason i want to see you I'm gonna put too much on. Ooh, oh, I might, I definitely put too much on. That's definitely way too much. Hopefully the powder can fix it, cause, 
but hopefully it works out in my favor or else I'm gonna be jigsaw for today. Okay, I'm gonna give me a little bike and start rolling around here talking about- Would you like to play a game? Cause I've already played myself. Hopefully the powder can fix it. <laughs> right now I look like one of them little dolls, <laughs> one of them little rag dolls. That's what I look like right now. So I'm gonna go back to an oldie and a goodie. This is the Lunar Beauty. I do really, really like this powder. I gotta try some more stuff from Lunar Beauty. I think this is the only thing I have from them and I really do like it. it it gets the job done. I don't bake anymore. That's such an old school way to do your makeup, to do all the baking, but I do like to make sure I press it in. And again, I'm using my UVE brush. I love this thing. It just feels so damn luxurious. Okay, see, it calmed it down a lot. Okay, so I did what I was supposed to do. It calmed down that blush. So whenever I go in with a cream blush, I just need to look crazy so I can look normal after the powder. It didn't blend as nicely as I would like it to have, right? Like it's, you can see like the clear the clear marks usually i like it to kind of you know gradually lead into one another all right so moving on to highlighter and bronzer we're gonna go into the too pretty sophia and maybell this little duo thingy we got from the ipsy all right let's do the bronzer first I definitely put too much on. Oh my God. Oh, uh, what am I doing? I put too much on. I am just like going crazy today. Bruh, I put way too much on. We'll see if I can fix it. I don't know, I'm trying to fix it. I might just have to look crazy today, okay? I mean, I'm not going nowhere. I'm staying in the house. So I can look crazy around the house. Justin, he just, he'd be like, oh, you filmed today? He knows, he knows that when we go out in the public, I make sure that I look okay. I look presentable. When I'm trying on new makeup, I might just look crazy today. Now I'm gonna go ahead and go into this highlighter. Okay, it, it did a little something, something. I don't have one of them little fan brushes. I mean, it did a little something, something. You could kind of see it. It's nothing too crazy. Eh, it's just meh, but it didn't give me that, you know, no pizzazz. It's just, it's just a regular schmegular highlighter. Now for the eyebrows, I'm gonna go ahead and use this Precisely My Brow by Benefit. I do like this. I do like it. I don't know if I like it for the price. And yes, I already know my eyebrows are jacked. I need to get them done, or I need to at least do something to them like myself. What is this? Ugh. Go away. Let's just pretend that was never there. I do like this My Benefit brow thingy mabobber. I just don't know if I like it for the price. There are other eyebrow products that work just as well for less. I really like that Physician's Formula that I got from, what was that? A Chic Beauty Box. This is not even close to the same price. Way cheaper, more affordable. Y'all, I saw this video of this mom forcing her daughter like a little little baby baby okay forcing her little baby baby to get her eyebrows waxed i was like uh child abuse she had like a unibrow and the mom was like forcing her to get rid of it like ripping the thing off the good little girl face you could tell the little girl was very much so traumatized by this i was just like let that girl unibrow live ain't no wrong with a unibrow i'll be sure look fine as hell with that unibrow all right back in the day all right ain't no wrong with a, with a little unibrow especially on the babies they babies who they who they impressing? Okay, who they impressing? A little toddler at the preschool? No. So let they brow live. Next, we are going to go into a P. Louise product. We have so much P. Louise stuff, so just expect to see at least a little some P. Louise at every single get ready with me try on makeup video because I just got so much of it. This is the Babe We're Bringing the Smoke Can You Handle the Heat palette. This is what it looks like. Again, these are the shades. Absolutely stunning. Really, really love them. I am going to dip into this shade as my transition. It's a little sum sum. You can tell there's a little, little sum sum there. I'm gonna go ahead and deepen up my crease with this one right here. Just put a little dabby dab right there, a little dabby dab right there, and then, well, the corner and the crease. I'm just gonna kind of carve that out a little bit. I will go back and clean up that edge and diffuse it a little bit, but right now we just wanna get that pigment down. It's a little patchy. Let's see if we can fix that with some, some grade A elbow grease blending. I'm gonna just dip back into my transition shade just a little bit to kind of diffuse that out a little bit. Okay, it is giving smoky. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't even gonna lie. I ain't gonna hold you. It is giving smoke. Next, I'm gonna go into this really beautiful shade right here. This blazing babe. All right, let's see. 
Ooh, y'all see that? That is gorgeous. Party, party, party. And that's with using a brush. I wonder how beautiful this would go down if I were to use my finger. That is very Christmas, Thanksgiving, New Year's Eve, just gorgeous. Now I'm just gonna kind of blend this a little bit so that it's not super harsh, I'm not adding any pigments. For under my eyes, I'm actually gonna dip into this shade, not the darkest shade, and I'm gonna just sweep that underneath. Now I might put my glasses on and be editing this video, be like, girl, you look a hot damn mess. But with my glasses off and the blur effect going, looks good. Usually I will put the lighter color on my inner corner, but since that's already on my eyelid, I'm gonna actually dip into this one for my inner corner highlight. Maybe this is a mistake, I don't know. Okay, that's weird. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I like that. I might have just effed up this whole look. Maybe we can make it work. Or maybe this is just a new, new, new. You know, this is that new, new that I'm discovering right now. And then before you know it, everyone's gonna have a dark inner corner highlight. That's not really a highlight because it's dark. I should have just dipped into another, or I should have just got my highlighter and did it with that. Um, yeah, I might have just ruined the look. I'm just gonna move on, okay? That's, I'm just gonna move on. We're playing in makeup right now. We're not We're not going out nowhere. I'm gonna use this Girlactic in Pure Brown. Is it Girlactic? Yeah, Girlactic in Pure Brown. This is a gel liner. You know, ain't nothing wrong with messing up because then, you know what? You know not to do that next time, okay? It's a learning experience. And I'm gonna go into the Pure Brown Girlactic. Is it Pure Brown? No, Brown Noir. Brown Noir, and this is the Liquid Liner. I love liquid eyeliner, so it's just so nice. Now I'm gonna go back to an oldie but a goodie, my Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Setting Spray. Love this stuff. When I'm out of it, I will definitely be replenishing it because it is that girl, I love it. Don't sink. Now, if I wore lashes, the lashes might fix the eye. Y'all ever see that? You see a makeup look, you're like, ugh. And then they put the lashes on, you'd be like, ooh, okay, fierce. Uh, <laughs> but I'm not putting on lashes. I just, it's not for me. Now we're gonna go into another P. Louise product, and this is the Tear Proof Mascara. This is what it looks like. Love this packaging, so freaking cute. Hopefully, it does what it's supposed to do, because that floss one that I tried yesterday was so trash. I did not like it at all. It did nothing for my eyelashes. Usually when I use a mascara, I can tell that I have mascara on. With that, nothing. Okay, this is doing a little something something. Definitely more than that bullshit. I used yesterday. See, it's doing something to my eyelashes. Like, you can actually see them. Nothing too crazy. Not the best, not the worst. It's, it's just okay. Okay, it's just, it's okay. Now let's move on to the lips. I don't know if this lip is gonna go well with this look. Again, we're just trying new makeup. I tried to grab as many items as I could from the new category to use today, whether it looks good together or not. And I'm gonna go ahead and line my lips with this Pear Nova in the color Lightyear. At least I think that's what the color is. I prefer a deeper brown. That is my jam, a deep, deep brown. And finally, we're gonna go in with the e.l.f. Lip Lacquer in the color Cherry Bomb. Again, this color is probably not gonna go well. But then again, I think this is sheer. I don't think this is like a super pigmented product. Not, it's not super pigmented. This is the final look. This lip definitely does not go with this eye look like at all. The cheeks, they actually don't look bad. After everything kind of like melts it together, it doesn't, look, it doesn't look bad. So I do like that. This isn't the best makeup look. A little Halloween, a little Cleopatra. The skin is skinning, I'm not gonna lie. The eyeshadows are beautiful. I just didn't use them correctly. Y'all let me know what you think in the comment section or don't, you know, do, do what you wanna do. Okay, this is America, or maybe it's not. I don't know where you're from. If you like this content, you already know what to do. Like, share, comment, and definitely subscribe so that you can become a Fey Bay. And I will see y'all with the next one. Deuces.